station in the end. Hey guys, welcome back to DCS World. I'm Spud Knocker, as always. And today we're back in the Harrier, uh, taking a look at a few tips on how to use the autopilot and how you can actually use the autopilot while you're in combat to engage targets with Mavericks, especially, even better than you could before. So we've got a really cool user-made um, Armada skin, Spanish Armada, which is a Spanish Navy. Uh, they call their Harriers Matadors, which is a pretty cool name, and I really like the little cartoon on the tail there, the bomb with the bull horns for a, like a bomb Matador. So we'll go ahead and hop back in the cockpit. So the autopilot is the little switch right here. AFC switch, automatic flight control switch. Now, in order to use this as a tip um, I'm about to display, uh, you're gonna need to go into your controls and you're gonna need to map your automatic flight control toggle. I have it actually mapped to a button on my throttle. And in a way, I guess you could call this kind of cheating, the way I'm going to use this. Um, and that is because I'm going to be using the autopilot as I'm diving in on the target and lining up my Maverick shot. And you'll see why I'm doing this before. The, the Harrier is obviously not a fly-by-wire aircraft. It is very, very much a um, pulleys and wires and hydraulics kind of aircraft. It's very, very much a stick and rudder aircraft, and it has to be with the um, VTOL capability that it has. And so, as a result of that, if you're not trimmed out pretty precisely, you will be wobbling around a lot. And because AGM 65s, but we can't really see them on the wing, that's okay. Because AGM 65s are not um, gyroscopically stabilized like our targeting pod it can be extremely difficult to line up that good shot with the Maverick to get a good lock and then be able to hit that target. Thus, I see people who are new to the Harrier not able to make a Maverick shot on their first pass on the target and definitely not able to do a ripple shot of two Mavericks on one dive. And that is a big deal because the longer you hang around a target, the more likely you're going to get shot down. And that's really discouraging in multiplayer when you get separated from your flight when you get killed, basically. So I'm going to show you guys how to use the autopilot to your advantage here. And if you guys are worried about the fact that you potentially might have issues with your autopilot accidentally being kicked on when you're maneuvering, it's not a big deal. Like right now, I'm flipping on and off the autopilot as I'm turning. So it, it's really not going to affect you when you're in a maneuver. Whenever the stick moves, that switch is automatically reset via a spring into the off mode. So it only stays on if you're not moving the stick. So if you're diving on a target and you see a SAM or a stream of AAA where your wingman says break right or break left or break up, then uh, you know that you can definitely pull off that maneuver even though the autopilot was previously turned on. So we'll go ahead and go to our stores page. We'll make sure our master arm is on. Go to air to ground mode, select our IR Mav. I'll go ahead and take him out of cage mode. Go ahead and flip our labels back on so it's a little bit easier to find this column of tanks we're going after. There they are, right out there. We can kind of see those little red dots and when we line up, I'm just going to flip on the autopilot, and that's going to stabilize us out. We're going to push the sensor select switch up, and then we can slew around our Mavericks very, very easily in order to get a lock and fire a missile much, much easier than we would be before. And there's another very cool functionality of the autopilot in the Harrier that I personally recently discovered, but it's really, really helped me. And sometimes when you're engaging a target, and you've got two Mavericks like I do on this loadout, you only want to engage once with one Maverick, and you want to continue flying around the target, say you're giving casts, or you're waiting for clearance from a FAC, or something like that, and now you're totally in an asymmetrical loadout, and your Harrier really wants to roll right because of this loadout that we have. 
we get hit? Looks like we got a hit. Looks like we got a fire down there. Perfect. And as you can see, got my hand off the stick. Harrier really wants to roll right because of that Maverick on the outboard station on our right hand side. All we need to do is flip on autopilot and that'll help stabilize us out. And then when we flip autopilot off, it stays in that position. It kind of automatically gets our trim uh, in position for us. You can kind of think of it as like an automatic trim or an automatic trim reset in a way. So that's very cool. It doesn't necessarily get it every single time perfectly. So sometimes you have to flip it on, flip it off, flip it on, flip it off in order to get that perfect trim again. So now I'm flying in a pattern here around back towards our target much, much easier now that I have at least a little bit of trim. Of course the Harrier's not gonna fly perfectly with such a huge asymmetrical loadout like we're flying with right now. However, it is flying much, much better than it would be if I did no trim at all or if I tried to trim it out myself manually with the hat switch. So we'll go ahead and flip our next Maverick out of cage mode. We'll line up to our target here. A little bit easier to find now that we have a fire. I'm gonna flip the autopilot back on to stabilize us out. IR map on a sensor mode. And we'll get our next target. And we'll fire our second rifle. And of course our trim is still kind of mucked up again. Now that we're back to a more symmetrical loadout. And that's no problem. We'll just repeat what we did before. And we'll kind of go ahead and watch this missile for our target. It's that little tiny blue dot down there. Go ahead and flip it into autopilot. And now we're stabilized out as we watch our missile streak to the target. There's a good hit. And that's two dead T-72s that aren't going to hurt our Marines on the ground. So let's pretend we're in autopilot. Autopilot is turned on. We're stabilized. Let's pretend we just got a streak of AAA or uh, an Iranian F7 or an F4 just got on our tail, or we see a, we saw a SAM. So autopilot's on, and we can break. No problem. Even though autopilot was on. Full stick deflection. Autopilot flips off right away, and no problem. Now, why don't we go ahead and flip the autopilot back on. We'll look at the switch, and then I'll deflect the stick, and you can see that switch down there turns off right away for us. So, there's no problem. Having that switch there, and having it mapped to your HOTAS is definitely, definitely going to help you engage with Mavericks, or if you're releasing single bombs, say you've got a couple Mark 83s, or Mark 82s, whatever, um, and you're dropping single bombs, and now you've got an asymmetrical loadout, you can use this same technique to get you straightened back out and be able to orbit the target uh, much easier and much more effectively without kind of having that awful wing wobble going on that uh, I see a lot. So I hope this, guy, this helps you out, guys. And if you liked the video, please give me a like and a subscribe. And as always, fly safe, guys.